We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever, Whatever opinion they had, ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for The Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. It is your Ryan Report right here on the People Station, V103, brought to you by Kia. Go to ATLKia.com and get the new rides, man. New stuff on there. I want that K900. Hint, hint. You know what I'm talking about? All right, let's start out with this. Waka Flocker is talking about he and Gucci, man, never being tight. Never super tight. Then talks about some things that happened in the studio and about them working together. A lot of information in this little soundbite. Is Waka Flocka Flame. Nah, I ain't going at Gucci. Man. Everybody think because I put cause I put a picture up say it was my dog. Like I just, yo, y'all don't understand how many DMs I get. It ain't even hateful. Like, it's, it's people really out here like, yo, bro, I don't care what y'all got going on. I don't care if y'all got beef. Like, make it happen. We want to see it. The fans want to see it. But we never did, though. Even before Gucci went to jails, you know what I'm saying? We never was, like, super tight. Like, me and Gucci haven't probably been cool in, in four years. I haven't been cool with Gucci since my best friend got killed. That's 2012. You dig what I'm saying? Like, they, Gucci know how I feel about him. It was a lot of rappers in the studio when me and Gucci was going at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I made that baby sit down. You see what I'm saying? So it ain't, it ain't, it ain't like, it ain't a secret. It's a secret to the world because I feel like it ain't my position to be like, yo, man, you was dead. You remember when I put my hand on your neck or I choked you or oh, you roughed me up. It ain't like that. Like, mm. If you want to play tough and act like you macho and you the big dog and you this, that, and the third, cool. Like, but the streets go wipe your nose every time. You know what I mean? So, hey, hey, since Goose been out, did you shoot a video in East Atlanta? All right. Man, I ain't no hate. I'm just exposing. You know, Atlanta got real big dogs, real kings of the East, man. East Atlanta got real kings, man. Mm. And it ain't one person. Wow. Okay. All right. You know, whenever somebody, let's move on to uh, playing the race card. You know, people say, you know, that's racist. Uh, they, they treated me, they, they, that was wrong. Jason Derulo is claiming racism. First, let's hear his rant. I'm at the airport, um, so so running a little late. So we get here, um, and we're trying to rush in and get our bags in. Um, I'm a concierge key member at American Airlines, which is not it's not even um, it's not it's not it's not even out there like that concierge key is a thing because you know it's only members that spend, spend millions of dollars on these airlines and whatnot. The employee here uh, is Miss informed about how many bags a concierge key member gets um so we're trying to explain to him how many how many uh, concierge key member gets because we do this every single day okay here's the point you were late so he's late for this flight at miami international he had eight people with him they're late they got to go to la you got to go to miami la you got to get out of there so he gets on his plane and leaves behind one other person to check the bag hey mark d I gotta get to LA. You check the bags. How many bags is food trying to check? 20! At the airport! Is it, you ain't taking no 20, but not one person. So, whoever this guy is, the bag man, calls Jason Derulo on the phone and says, hey man, they not let me check all these bags. They're trying to charge me. How much they trying to charge you? $6,000. They said, Jason Derulo said, turn this plane around. The plane was was leaving the gate. All hell breaks loose. He says the pilots went off on him and the cops were waiting as he got off and says the only reason he didn't go to jail because he was chasing Derulo. 19 bags, bro. And you late? We all try to claim something when we late. <laughs> you know, she's about to get fired. But because they was late all the time. And then on the day they get fired, like, hey, man, why you get fired? Man, dogs, man, they were tripping. <laughs> no, they weren't. You was late. Last but not least, are you ready for this? They say this is a big, rich town. I just come from the poet's part. Bright light, city life, I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. Come on. Hey, hey. I just happen to come up hard. Legal or illegal, baby, I gotta make it, this is... Lorenz Tate is on a new season of Power, y'all. You know you're loving. Lorenz Tate will play a uh, councilman, a city official from Jamaica, Queens, in Power season number four. Can't wait to see it. 
And we can't wait for that music to come on. That is your Ryan Report right here on the People's Station V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know, you know. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. V103.